hello guys welcome back to another series um, of building a binance, a binance trading trading board service now if you haven't seen the first series do check it out because that particular series lays the foundation of what we are trying to build in this series which is called um, the service foundation we are going to talk about the architecture or rather the overall implementation of our service how we intend it to run and how we intend to interact with the service now there are a lot of moving components that's going to be in this service there is going to be the web server and also there is going to be a web socket now there is also going to be the trade server now the web server is going to coordinate the entire activities of our service the reason is we want to be able to build a client that can interact with our service and for us to do that we need to have a web server where we can make basic HTTP requests to as well why are we doing that we want to be able to deploy this service probably on a server and then create an interface a, a, a web client interface that can interact with the backend server and we should be able to send command to that service for example you want to register a new account we can set it to the engine that we want this account to be registered and we'll provide the basic detail that is needed to begin trading on that account and the service will accept it the web server will accept that request push it into the trading service and the trading service takes over from there and also we want to be able to shut down maybe a particular trading account for example um, and also we want to be able to send assets to our service for example if you want to trade um, say you want to trade uh, Dogecoin you can send Dogecoin asset to the service to trade Dogecoin for you and if you don't want to trade it anymore you can just send a request to the service to shut it down now for us to lay the basic foundation of that we need to uh, write the foundation of that service the foundation deals with launching the service and terminating the service on my screen what you're looking at is actually the the main entry point of our service at line 19 you have the a channel that we can send um, signal to, 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 to inform or rather instruct the service that we are shutting down and also we created a, a, <coughs> a shutdown channel on line 20 which we are going to pass into our web server this particular channel will be passed across the entire trading service trading boards such that they all listen for shutdown signal we are doing this because we want our service to be able to shut down successfully properly rather for example if a bot is trading and then we send a shutdown signal to it it should acknowledge that shutdown signal and begin to do cleanup where cleanup is necessary now line 23 is where we set up the signal we are waiting for we are listening for uh, the termination signal that you can normally send to a service via control C and then on line 25 this is where we build subscription uh, service now the subscription service deals with um, web clients that are connecting to our webs our, our, our backend service they subscribe to our service to receive information and updates of what is happening within the service and also they can they can unsubscribe if they, if they are no longer interested or if there is a termination in connection uh, they automatically unsubscribe from our service there is a client pool the client pool part handles a collection of clients web clients that want to interact with our service why did we come up with a client pool such that we can send we can do a broadcast to all the clients that are connected to this service about a specific um, update and also we have a, a web server the web server aspects handles launches a web server for us at the background 
on which we can send requests to at a specific port. So the web server coordinates the client pool and as well as the training service. We are going to get to the internals of um, uh, the web server, the training service, and then the bot in the training engine, and then the bot uh, engines. <coughs> now, once we launch, <coughs> once we call line twenty three, line thirty two rather, the service is meant to block. Once we call lo line uh, thirty two rather, the service, uh, the web server initializes the entire process, and then launches our training service and then waits for a trading account to come in and <coughs> line 37 will block until we receive a termination signal and then once we receive a termination signal what happens is on line 41 we we'll send a signal to the shutdown channel we created initially remember the shutdown channel is passed down the, the web server or the trading server and the bot engine so they will all receive a signal that it's time for them to shut down and on line 43 we are giving them five seconds to round up the entire process of shutting down otherwise we raise an exception and then we would send on line 50 a shutdown signal to the web server so that the web server will gracefully shut down and then the whole process is um, completed now this service is actually um, up and running although we have not completely fleshed out the entire component of the service so i'm going to go ahead and run and launch the service so that we see exactly how it runs so i'm going to do this sorry about that uh, okay so i am going to um go ahead and and uh run the service just give me a minute and see if i can do a couple of adjustments on all right not a problem so so this is where we launch the service and as you can see the service is launched uh, the first line is actually initializing the route for the service this route handles HTTP request and then we we'll start up the trading service engine and then we we'll start up the the message processing engine which handles clients connecting to the service and then receiving updates from the service and also the client listener that receives instructions from clients on what to do and eventually Finally, we launch the trading the HTTP server on port six hundred six nine. So that's such, that's it. Once the service is up and running, the basic uh, the core part of the engine starts working. At the moment, we have not registered any account, so there is not going to be any trading happening. If we had registered an account. What would have happened is the service would contact Binance for that specific account, pull information about the account, the balances they have and the assets they currently have, and then query for exchange information from Binance. And then using the information received from Binance, it can start look at computing the EMA and SMAs and then trying to make decision whether to buy or to sell. Um, when we are done building this specific service on the terminal there is going to be a log indicating whether it's time to buy or whether it's time to sell there's going to be a lot of logging happening on our uh, our service I hope you enjoy this second series of this particular um, programming that we are handling right now I hope to see you in the next uh, series thank you and have a wonderful day ahead